Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how to write a VHDL code for carry look ahead adder. So in the previous video we have discussed the block diagram and expressions related to this carry look ahead adder. So where this carry look ahead adder generates the next level carries without having any uh, delay. In the ripple carry adder the main drawback of the ripple carry adder is the delay because the previous stage carry uh, the current stage carry is depending on the previous stage output. Okay, every time it waits for the carry generation from the previous stage. So, definitely as the number of stages increases, then the delay also increases. <coughs> so, carry look ahead adder with the initial carry C not only, with the initial carry C not only, all the carries C1, C2, C3 are generated and so on. Okay, how many number of bits, but with the just the use of C1 and the current input C0, P0 or E1, B1. So, using them, the carries, the next stage carries are automatically generated by using two parameters carry generate and carry propagator. Carry generate and carry propagator. So, this is what we have discussed. The expressions related to this particular two also discussed in the previous video. Now, using this particular expressions and block diagram let us write the vhdl code corresponding to this carry look ahead adder so whenever you are writing a vhdl code so you have to choose any one of three language three different styles of vhdl code first one is data flow model second behavioral model third structural model okay let us write the vhdl code for this carry look ahead adder in the structural model so here i am writing in structural model structural model means you are writing the code on the internal architecture structure okay suppose if any block is repeated for n number of times no need to write n number of blocks just writing one time and calling repeatedly the same block is sufficient okay so let us start and uh, First, you need to start any VHDL code with the library function. Library, library IEEE. Here we are using the library function called IEEE, and all the packages related to this VHDL code are invoked from this IEEE. So use IEEE, use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all this is a package in IEEE so IEEE dot means we are calling this particular package and using in the current program and we also know there are two parts in the VHDL code one is the entity part where we are declaring the inputs and outputs another one is the architecture where we are writing the behavior of the code so first entity carry look ahead adder let us take it as cla carry look ahead adder is port port is nothing but it specifies input ports and output ports no intermediate signals are involved here in the entity we say complete modules inputs and outputs so a <coughs> and b both are of same size input mode std underscore logic underscore vector size is 4 4 bit means 3 to 0 3 down to 0 down to is a single word don't split down to 0 and c in initial carry so input mode std underscore logic it is a single bit and yes yes is also again 4 bit size but output mode std underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 and c out out std underscore logic std underscore logic so here we have to close the bracket and end cla care look at that now the second part of VHDL code is architecture, architecture, behavioral <coughs> of, see this is not the name of the style of the program, just we are writing generally any name, you can use any name here, 
okay architectural behavior of carry liquid adder is first you need to call the component which you are using for multiple times here in the structural model so component component we are taking some pull adder is or you can call it also as partial pull adder okay uh, you can call it as a pfa i will write here what is pfa in comments <coughs> pfa means partial pull adder partial pull adder port a port a b c in all are one by one bit each input std underscore logic and outputs s p g s p g means s is nothing but sum p is carry propagate and g is carry generate out std underscore logic end component end component and component name also you can write now intermediate signals signal c1 c2 c3 std underscore logic for signals you no need to specify the direction means mode input mode or output mode you no need to specify because signals can be used in any direction and again two more signal P G S T D underscore logic underscore vector three down to zero. These are of four bit each. Now begin. Begin. So first one. Partial full adder. One. This is nothing but label. This particular part is label. PFA. PFA port map. PFA. So now we need to port map the inputs of current program with the inputs of this part sub program. <coughs> Here we have taken A naught, B naught, and the first pull adder is having A naught, B naught, C in, and the outputs are S naught and P naught and G naught. And similarly, partial pull adder 2, again, second time we are calling the same because 4, four full adders are there, 4 bits are there, so 4 times we need to call. Port map of A one, B one, C one, S of one, <coughs> P of one, G of one. Carry generate and carry propagates. And again, partial full adder third level. Partial full adder port map of port map of A2 B2 C2 S2 P2 G2 <coughs> again partial ladder port map A3, B3, C3, S of 3, P of 3, G of 3. Now we have got C1, C2, C3 in this particular outputs of the partial full adders. Now we have to use them and as well as G0, P0, all these pins are generated. We have to use them for the generation of carries, final carries C out. Okay.
C1 is equal to C1. See here, this expression we have already calculated. This expression we have already calculated in the previous video. So, G0, G0, R, G0, R, R is nothing but here, plus G0 plus P and C in. That was the actual expression. So, we are writing in writing. So, P0 and, and is nothing but directly A and D and C in. And C2 is equal to, C2 is equal to, see here, we have used C1, C2, C3 in this program. Now, we are saying what is C1, C2, C3 here. Okay, without these three, this program, this particular calling functions will not work. Okay, so G1 or otherwise if you have any doubt, you can use these three lines, C1, C2, C3. First, you can define them and then you can use them later, no problem or p of 1 and c naught initial carry or p of 1 and p of 0 and c in initial carry. c3 is equal to G2 or P of 2 and G of 1 or P of 2 and P of 1 <coughs> and G of 0. or p of 2 and p of 1 and p of 0 and c in and finally c out is equal to c out is equal to is equal to means le less than equal to g of 3 or p of 3 and g of 2 or p of 3 and p of 2 and g of 1 or see all these and operations in one particular bracket P of 3 and P of 2 and P of 1 and G of 0. Again or P of 3 and P of 2 and P of 1 and P of 0 and C in. Okay, this is the this is the expression for final carry and behavior or end behavior, whatever we have taken the name of architecture that we are earning here. Now, along with this, we have to instantiate the component. Component instantiation we have done for the partial full adder that we need to write a separate program. So, VHDL code for sub program or you can write name it as component 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 instantiation we have done there that we are writing here so library entity library uh, ICBLE use ICBLE those two are common now entity partial full adder is port of same whatever we have taken there same inputs we have to consider otherwise the core mapping will not be done in the component of the previous program whatever we have given inputs same set we have to consider here 
S P G. These three are out STD logic. Out STD logic and entity. And right here. And PFA. <coughs> okay, there it was component. Now here it is a separate module. So architecture. Behavior of architecture behavior of partial ladder is begin s is equal to normally how you write uh, to ladder output s is sum is equal to ax or bx or c so ax or bxr c in because it is direct full adder and for carry propagate carry generate we have expressions carry propagate is a x r b carry generate g is a and b okay and after that end behavior okay this is the sub program of the partial full adder uh, once this is written and with the, we have if we add in the same project or of this uh, platform then definitely the previous program will work with the support of this component okay so this is the vehicle program for the carry look at thank you